Hey guys, we are going to be looking at the role of application software and specifically utility software. So what is utility software? Let me explain. If you think about utility as in a toolbox or a set of tools, tools are meant to repair things and fix things and look after things. So if you're living in a house and you are responsible for looking after things, you know what that is about and having all the right tools to fix things up. Now, when we talk about utility software, we're talking about software that is specifically designed for the maintenance and running of your computer and its operating systems. Now, let me explain that. It is, first of all, software. That's the first thing, it's software. What is the point of the software? The point of this software is for the maintenance and the running of your operating system. So let's have a look and see what kind of utility software do we have on our Windows platform. And here I'm gonna show you a very quick video clip. There you can see I'm busy browsing down my menu all the way down to W, W, and there it is there, Windows Administrative Tools. And inside Windows Administrative Tools, you will see I've got all kinds of utility software applications there. So let's go through some of them, some of the ones that you'll probably use quite a lot. The first one is computer management. What does computer management let us do? Well, it lets us see all the things that's going on on our computer, such as system tools, with a task scheduler, the event viewer, folders that we're sharing, local users and groups, the device manager, which I've got set up over there right now. There you can see we've got the device manager, so we can see all the devices that are connected to the computer, and we can update the drivers here, or disable or enable different devices. So that's the one utility tool that we have, computer management. Defragment and optimize drives. There you can see we have, this is for disk defragmentation. We still have this with us. And there you can see, oh man, it's been 26 days since my last retrim. 26 days, let's fix that quickly. A few moments later. They're fixed, okay, cool. Zero days since last retrim, that's better. So there you go, there's another tool over there or a system utility that we have. Disk cleanup, another tool in our toolbox in case we are running out of space on our hard drive. Disk cleanup is going to clean this thing up for us. Okay, cool. What's next? Task scheduler. If you want to schedule tasks in advance or just see what is running on your computer in terms of all the tasks and when they're running, the task scheduler is the utility for you. Task scheduler lets us schedule specific things to happen at specific dates and times. For example, I have one over there called Sleep. I wish that was for me, but it's for my computer. And I have my computer shut down, well not shut down, it goes into sleep mode uh, at midnight every night. Okay, so then it's no longer using electricity while I'm not on the computer. At the moment it's disabled, I should probably check out why. Windows Defender Firewall with anti-malware as well. So there you can see the Windows Defender Firewall. It's like an antivirus program or anti-malware program. It just looks after the computer, protects it. The firewall stops traffic from getting in and out that it shouldn't be letting in or out. So we're going to get onto that in a minute. Just to elaborate again, guys, on scheduling and updating. So when we are scheduling stuff, that is basically saying, at this day, at this time, every week, I want you to run this program. So most of the time, it's things that run in the background to update your software applications or to run checks, make sure that the hard drive is okay, things like that. Backing up and archiving. Okay, we've got tools that will back up and archive data on your computer. So now what is the difference then between backing up and archiving? Why would we do this? So first, number one, be aware that you do have a backup system built into Windows 10. So just hit the window key, start typing the word backup, you'll see what comes up. But let's just quickly establish, guys, what the difference is between the two. When you're backing up something, you're basically creating a copy of the file in case the original file becomes corrupted or even deleted. So you've got a copy of it. Right, it's a backup copy. It's sitting there. It's just in case something goes wrong. But what about 
archiving. What's the difference? Well, archiving is when you take files that you still would like to keep, but you don't access them very often, and they're just taking up unnecessary space on your hard drive. You don't want to get rid of them. You just want to move them somewhere safe and off the computer. So we are in archiving. We're moving files that are not regularly used or accessed to a removable or an external location for long-term storage. Okay, so backing up, you're just creating a copy of the file, whereas archiving, you're putting it on a removable media or online storage or somewhere else, no longer on your machine, but you've still kept it safe somewhere in case you need to access it one day. All right. How about the firewall? Okay, the firewall, let me explain what a firewall is, guys. A firewall is a barrier between your computer and the rest of the world, the rest of the connected world. Okay, the firewall acts as this unique gate or gateway that allows certain programs or communications to come in or out and blocks everything else. So, for example, if you have um, a torrenting software, for example, and you have to have a particular port open to be able to use your torrenting software, the firewall by default is going to block that unless you allow that port to be opened and have access in and out through the firewall. So the firewall is like a barrier of protection for your computer. All right. Here's a nice poster done by a fantastic teacher called Michelle Mayer, and she has created these posters. Go look at the website. There's stacks of them there. Every week, there's a Cat Word of the Week. I love it. So here we have Cat Word of the Week. This week's word is firewall. Gee, what a coincidence. So let's read what it says. A network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. That's a mouthful. Try remember that, work out what it means to yourself, get it out in your own words in an exam, and you'll be just fine.